Um, I, I make my living as a clinical psychiatrist dealing with a lot of people who have trouble telling what's real and what's not real, what's delusional. And I've also been for 30 years studying near-death experiences where people have told me, yeah, this world is real, but that world is even more real. Mm -hmm. So I've done a lot of thinking about what is reality. And we don't use as a criterion for what's real what's going on in our brains. That's not how we say what's real. Sometimes people have said, is it objective or is it subjective? Subjective things aren't real, objective things are. That's not the way we use the word reality. We all talk about emotions being real or being feigned. Is, he, is that real pain or is that fake pain? That's not an objective thing. Pain, love, hatred, arrogance, these are subjective things, but we call them real or not real. We also have things within the world of physical science that we cannot observe directly. Subatomic particles, for example. Some of them are so short-lived, we cannot in any way observe them directly. We can observe their after effects. And from those effects, we can infer their existence and their properties, just as we do with emotions. You can't objectively measure anger, but you can measure its effects and thereby infer things about anger. This is how we decide what is real. Does it have meaning for us? If you ask a sociologist what is real, they'll say that what is real is what has effects. If the effects are real, the experience is real. And this is the sense in which I think near-death experiences say that world is more real than this world is. That it has more of an impact on them, more effect on them, and in that sense is more real. You know, we're all, we all act as if this table is real. But everyone who's gone through high school science knows that it's not a hard, solid object. That the vast majority of this is empty space between the atomic particles, subatomic particles. And yet for us, the hardness is reality. Hollywood gave us the Matrix trilogy in which all the, quote, real world is just an image, a virtual reality. In a sense, we are living in a virtual reality created by our brains. We don't perceive the table. We perceive light waves generated from it. We see sounds from it. But we don't perceive the table. We're living in a world that's created by our brains to be a representation of this. So we don't have any objective way of saying what's real or what's not real. The only criterion we do use is what ha effect it has on us.